Well, now it's time we got around. Well, now it's time we got around to the man at the top. He's the man who's guided this school from the laundry to the cow pasture. Yes, sir, here he is, President J.L. Nelson and his devoted wife, Afton. I tell you, they've really been... Well, now it's time we got around to the man at the top. He's the man who's guided this school from the laundry to the cow pasture. Yes, sir, here he is, President J.L. Nelson and his devoted wife, Afton. Now, I'll tell you, they've really been a good mom and dad for this school. Things have really gone well, don't you think, Dave? Oh, I think so, you bet. But they've had, he's had his share of problems. One thing, you know, he's never been able to get that dang staff to take his meetings seriously. Bunch of characters. Right. You know, he's such an impeccable person, too. I've never seen his desk when it wasn't ever so neat. Every time I've been there, it's always been immaculate. Right. You know, in spite of all the problems we have around here, we have some good things happening, too. Good things, sure. A lot of good things happening here at UTC, for instance. How many pounds did he lose? Oh, he, he didn't lose any uh, pounds, Dave. He gained seven pounds. <laughs> Ferris, who would you say was the most enthusiastic employee at the college? Kent Birch. Kent Birch? Oh, right. No, seriously, though. Uh, well, what do you think? Wendell Jones looks kind of enthused. Well, it looks like he just forgot how to work out a math problem. Uh, uh, I like Carl Seaman. He seems like he's got a tiger in his tank. Well, that's pretty good, but... Okay, you're going to tell... About, what about Joe Baker? No. Uh, not bad. That's not bad, huh? Not bad. But all kidding aside, here's the most enthusiastic employee on campus, Carton Magnuson. Right on. Oh, Dave. Dave, What's I, the matter? I think you've got the wrong slide here. Oh, really? he, he's improved. Well, I, I think I'll have to admit that's the truth, and I think you'll see that in this next slide. Shows that old fire. Yeah, that's, that's an improvement, all right. But, you know, I really got to level with you. I want to introduce Mr. Enthusiasm, steam coming out of every pore, and that's Mike Homer. Just look at that. Wow, that is enthusiasm. You got him now. Yeah, you, you know, you multiply that kind of enthusiasm, and there's no telling what you can do. Okay, Michael boy, we expect big things out of you. All right. Pretty girls and pretty colors. They just kind of seem to go together real nicely. Now, where could you find a better combination than this? Even without the colors. Anybody like to guess what these handsome guys have in common? Well, anyway, bald is beautiful, you know. We needed one more Yule Brenner to fill up the screen, but we kind of ran low on them, so we had to get an almost Yule Brenner. Oh, let's see that almost Yule Brenner. Sorry about that, Brent. <laughs> Now, would you look at these smart Alex here, right here at UTC. Are you kidding? Here? Right Where's here. it all going to end? Look at these people. Well, there they are. I, I just hope the rest of you don't associate with them. Not me. I understand we've got some moonlighters on the campus. Have you heard about any of them? Uh, you mean those people working two jobs, three jobs, that sort of thing? Yeah. For instance. Well, did you know, for instance, Bob Beebe is marketing a new soft drink? Bob Beebe? No, I didn't know that. Bob Beebe, a soft drink? Well, I haven't actually tried it yet, but here's the proof. Well, by gosh, you're right. There he is. One fluid glug. Uh-oh. She ruins it all, huh? There goes Bob's business. Uh, 
Well, well, anyway, say, Dave, wouldn't you think that uh, with all the notoriety Doc Hansen gets around here, that somebody, somebody ought to know about all his human rights work? He's really been involved in that kind of thing. Well, it looks like from the picture it was several years ago, but, you know, I understand that he was given some kind of a meritorious award wow. for it. Oh, well, you, you'd like to see it, right? Oh, sure. You, you don't believe it. Well, it's a little tough. Well, here it is. Okay, you can read it for yourself. Have you noticed a lot of the old-timers are back with us again? Yeah, I'm glad to see that. I like to see old-timers. Me too. You know, Rex Holt is his usual pleasant self. Yeah, I think uh, I think teaching making him a little senile, though. Uh, Rex used to be quite handsome, you know that. That's true. Uh, but how about Wayne Moss? Oh, Wayne. Boy, I swear, Wayne, you're getting uglier every day. Bad case of the uglies, huh? <laughs> and I think this is the way he used to look. That just about winds it up, doesn't it? Uh, not quite yet. Uh, just a bit more here. Have you noticed, Dave, that some of our people, uh, well, they're either into this transcendental meditation or they do a lot of fantasizing. I one of the fantasizing. Other. Uh, like uh, what it's like to own a pony or uh, I've got an extra peanut butter and jelly sandwich with me today or like um, I've got a date with Farrah Fawcett Majors tonight or Hello, our Dean, our Dean Chapel. You've just won an all-expense-paid trip to Draper, Utah. Well, how about what it would be like not to have gas pains? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> or uh, how nice a foot rub would feel right, right now. Right now. Or like uh, when I find my bat cave, I'm going to fertilize the world. Well, that's it, folks. Those are the fabulous UTC faces. Hope you liked them. And just to brighten up your day, we're selling balloons out in the foyer. And we've got one just for you. That's all, folks. <laughs>